Hey guys, so this video is just a quick um, get to know me video. Um, one of the, that's kind of one of the things that um, was pointed out in my, when I asked like what you guys wanted to see as far as future videos. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick get to know me. Um, so this is my second attempt at this video. The first attempt, I just have to say, like, it just got really dark and emotional, and it just went somewhere that I really don't want my story to go. My story has a lot of negative, negative parts. It has a lot of, um, it has a lot of depressing times, and so I decided that I am just going to focus on the things that I love and the things that are near and dear to me. So, the first thing that I have to talk about is my son. Um, my son's name is Brayden. He's six years old. He's in first grade. Um, my son is so amazing. He is such a trip. He's very much his own person. He does his own thing. Um, he doesn't ever try to please anyone else but himself. I love that about him so much. Um... He's really into dinosaurs and cars and really into cars right now. He also loves kitty cats and animals. He has a very sweet heart. Um, but, like, his personality is so just do his own thing. Um, for example, when we used to drop him off at school in the morning, he rides the bus now because he really wanted to, but when we used to drop him off, he would get out and instead of going up the stairs, he would turn and go up the wheelchair ramp and just because he felt like it. And then other kids would turn and follow him and start to go up the wheelchair ramp too. And it was so funny, like he's such a leader and like he doesn't really even realize it. He just does what he wants. And I admire that about him so much. Um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was my painting. Um, it's something that I'm really passionate about and something that I would like to share with you guys. Um, so I have a few paintings that I'm going to show you. Um, the first one is actually this cow painting. This is a reproduction of a painting that I did when I was in high school and I really just wanted to like redo it and see what was different, like how I changed, if I improved, and all of that. <clears throat> then I also did this painting, which is like, just like a drip um, eye painting. I really like this because it's not my typical sunset like I normally do. Um, this is also kind of just like a drip pattern painting. This is a glitter painting. I have a lot like this. I really love glittery, pretty patterns. Um, there's something that I try to create a lot of. I have a lot of glittery paintings. I really love just like a pretty, pretty pattern, a pretty gradient of colors, and then glitter over top of it. I think that's so pretty. But I also like to incorporate glitter in other paintings as well, like this one. Um, this is like a water painting with the sunset. I'm trying to be quick because there's quite a few of them. Just like a little sunset painting. I was kind of playing with the thickness in this. My neighbors are out, guys. I apologize. I know they're probably kind of loud. This is a tree painting with the background. I let it soak in. Okay. Um... And then, really, the last thing that I wanted to talk about that I'm really, like, passionate about um, is my makeup. Um, a lot of people that know me and have known me for a long time know that makeup is something that I love and I'm very into and I have been for years. Um, I have a makeup page on Facebook that I've had for years and 
it's just something that I'm really passionate about. So I have some of my favorite palettes here to show you guys. This first one is my James Charles palette. I use it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. This is what it looks like. Obviously, you can tell I use her a lot. Um, it's more like colorful and has like all kinds of different um, options. This next one is the Morphe Dare to Create palette. And it has more like variations on brown. And I've been using this palette like every day because I've been wearing um, dark, dark brown, like black, bronzy looks. And that's the palette that I've been using. So, um, this is my Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Um, I use this all the time too. I love Jeffree Star. As you will begin, my son put his finger in this right there. As you will begin to see, Jeffree Star is kind of a pattern on a lot of the stuff that I have. This is the Thirsty palette. Um, these pressed pigments right here, these pressed glitters, are my favorite um, to use on the inner corner out of any that I own, out of any pressed pigments that I own. I love this palette. Um, let's see. Oh, also, of course, I have my Jawbreaker palette. I can't not talk about my Jawbreaker palette. Um, I really do love this palette. I don't use it as much as I would like to because it seems like the looks in it are more um, of like bright colors when a lot of the looks that I go for are more neutral. This is the ABH Norvina collection, the Artistry palette. This is what it looks like. I've only used this color, which is E3. So I'm going to um, try to use some colors out of this palette because I really like ABH eyeshadows. Um, these are glitters from Glitter Injections and um, this is the x-ray palette. This actually comes empty and you buy these one by one. This is actually from Ofra. Um, these are all glitter injections. This is my favorite one right here. This is Peacock and it's absolutely gorgeous. It has pink and green and blue and it's just really, really pretty. Um, and then last but not least, I have my um, Jeffree Star Brain Freeze palette right here. And as you can see, I use it a lot. Um, I mainly use Gold Breaker, which is the middle top.